All right, layer one is the pillow, the boring part, because it's basically just white paint I'm pouring on the canvas, but the pillow is very important. It definitely makes or breaks the piece. All right, layer two is the colors. This one's fun to watch because there's so, I always use like a bajillion and million one colors in all my pieces because I can never decide. I love all the colors, but um, yep. You'll just watch me lay them down. I always mix each color individually, uh, make sure they're all the right consistency. Um, I mix all my colors with Valspar Reserve in Base C Satin and Josonia Gloss Varnish, even my pigments. I just mix the varnish into the pigment before I add the medium, which is the Valspar Reserve, so it, you, know, you don't lose any of the brilliant and beautiful color. But yeah, and then you lay down your colors in, you know, unique patterns, and that usually helps give the piece some life. Yeah, this one I, I went a little crazy. I decided to use a strainer, which didn't really stay in the piece because it ended up like a big blob. You'll see, you'll see later down how I try and fix that. But yeah, here we are, my colors. And now layer three, which is the cell activator, which I swipe over my colors using a palette knife. And this is the funnest part, swipe time. It's awesome. I'm addicted to seeing those cells come through and pop through. They're just so beautiful to me. I, the palette knife swipes is definitely my go-to. I love it. I am gonna venture out and start doing some new techniques again, like the dirty pores and, and all that all that jazz, but man, am I addicted to the, the palette knife swipe. It's just so much fun. And I always use three colors. Um, I use oxide black, titanium white, and turquoise green, all from the brand Amsterdam. I really do believe that is part of the magic, along with the magical Australian Floetrol. And it's always a one-to-one -one ratio mixing. So for every scoop of paint, you add a scoop of Australian Floetrol. And lastly, it's time to spin and tilt the paint off the canvas. I mean, it's actually not lastly, because especially with this piece, I add a ton of modifications and even add a few more designs to it to fix that <laughs> blob I did with the strainer. But yeah, the spinning and tilting is usually really, really, really slow, but like all of the other clips, I speed it up. Otherwise, you'll be here for a few hours with me. And here's where I add a ton of modifications because this piece, like I said, kind of got away with me You're trying to do that strainer at first, but I think I, I saved it and I brought it back because this is definitely now one of my favorites. It's, it's all over the place and very chaotic, but has a story to it, I feel. And that's why I named it Take That First Step. So as I show you the final piece all nice and dried, I will read you that lyrical poem, Take That First Step. Yeah, there it is. And this one I kind of did alongside another painting called The Cartoon Fish. I was going to put them together in one video, but you know, it's just, it gets a little convoluted that way. So keep an eye out for Cartoon Fish. And when I'm done here, you'll see the final piece and along with a reading of my lyrical poem. Take that first step. Well, you got to lose, right?
Life has a funny way of turning things upside down. Even when you found that solid ground, so proud that you finally found that stability beneath your feet begins to give way. Nothing you could have said and nothing you can say. There's nothing you could have done and there's nothing you can do. It's inevitable the drop of the other shoe. You cannot prepare for despair, nor can you run as we all get served our fair share. Life is dished out in highs and lows, a part of reality everyone eventually knows. There will always be outside forces in life, yet we all get cut down by the same knife. Just don't let the shock of the fall be your final curtain call. Your life has always another chapter. It's okay to sway, and don't let fear be your captor. A good story will twist and turn, with experiences to grow and learn. So fight that good fight, and leave the end out of sight. It might not be what you planned, but again, solid ground can turn to quicksand. It's okay to pivot and change direction. So grab hold of that branch and make a correction. Free yourself from expectation and let go of hesitation. In your story, you are the main event, the go-to rep. So no more self-doubt and take that first step.